Jessica here with House of Self to explain exactly what a clairsentient empath is. Everybody's heard of an empath pretty much by now, right? Highly connected to feelings, very intuitive, good about reading other people. A clairsentient empath is somebody that not only can do that, but also see and feel vibrational energy, um, mainly emotional energy. Sometimes they can see auras, like I can see an energy field around people or animals and, you know, sometimes nature, but mainly in people and animals. And I, I don't always see things in color in the aura energy body field, but um, as a clairsentient, I can feel vibrational energy change and I can also see it. And that's really hard to describe what it looks like because it's different for anyone who may be tapped into that sense. Uh, which we all have, I may add. It's just a matter of developing your sixth sense and intuition and, and really tapping in. So what I can see in the energy field a lot of times looks like uh, little waves, um, almost, almost like static. And um, sometimes in the air as it changes, it seems like I can uh, see... It looks grainy, like vibrational grainy dots. It's, it's really difficult for me to kind of get that visualization out there for you. Um, I think it would be terrific if you could look through my eyes and see. So that's what energy looks like to me. And as somebody's emotional state changes, I can see the emotional energy kind of shift and vibrate around their body field. And um, I'm not psychic. Sometimes I can pick up on certain emotional feelings and I may get an imagery of something just unpleasant, not even related to them. I just might, sadness, you know, I might get a glimpse of something that causes sadness or, you know, a feeling of like really deep sorrow or grief. And, you know, if they're, if it's something, if they're overjoyous, then I can see that, I can feel that as well. So a lot of us go through the day wearing a mask of sorts, regardless of our moods or how we feel. A lot of us will go through the day with that um, veil. Being a clairsentient empath, I can pretty much see through your veil. <laughs> I know it doesn't always make people comfortable, but, um, and I never acknowledge it, and I respect people's private, emotional, sacred space. Like, I, I never am like, peekaboo, I see you. <laughs> I don't do that. I have a huge respect for people's personal life unless they ask me to help them go through something or untangle something they're feeling or struggling with. That's the only time I will allow myself to fully open up and read their energy field because um, you've got to be respectful when you're able to tune into certain things and aspects of other people. It's, it's their private life, you know, it's their innermost private space. Um, that's kind of the best way I can describe it. I use my intuition a lot when I'm helping anybody with anything in their life. If I'm coaching them through anything, I, I'm, I tune in directly to them the best way that I can. And I, I feel and I hear them and I, I understand what they're saying through their emotional state. So I, I hear them and I listen to them through their feelings. And I know it sounds far out there. Um, if you've ever met me in person or you know me, you'll understand that um, there's just a thing. You know, there's just this unspoken, quiet thing <laughs> that's going on that um, is really hard to identify. I listen with my entire being to you. Like I'm, I am tuned in on levels that are above simply using my ears and sometimes my eyes like I am connected that's that's the best way I can describe that um, I hope that clears some things up if you ever had any questions on what um, empath or clear sentient empath is um, and like I said it's a it's different for everybody honor your true gifts if you have any you never know what they can open up for you or how you can help others I wish you a really wonderful day and we'll talk later bye